Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today I just wanted to uh, go over a few final little things on our skill tree, um, kind of pointing out some potential pitfalls that we could encounter, um, and also kind of cleaning up the, uh, or just kind of refining a little bit of the code. So, anyways, uh, let's get started. So first, let's go ahead into our UI folder, into our UI skill tree. We'll open that up, and um, specifically what I want to point out is we're going to change this check um, instead of a greater than, uh, we're going to say greater than or equal to. So we can delete that, drag off instead, and say greater than or equal to. And this will be important for a few reasons. Um, now we want to say greater than or equal to 1. All right. And now the reason I'm deciding we should do a greater than or equal to is because um, I realize that if we're doing like a greater than, say, 0, for example, right, or or even a greater than or equal to zero, right? That that might register as true, okay? And then if it goes through and we subtract skill points, right, we might end up subtracting more points than we have available, okay? So to counteract that, we either need to A, set the set this to make this a greater than or equal to, all right, and set this value equal to the amount of points we want to subtract, right? Like this. Um, or B, we can kind of promote this to a variable, right? Um, and maybe um, call it like tier one, right? And then all the things on this first, I guess, tier will be, you know, could have that value of one. Um, and then, you know, tier two could have its own uh, value of skill points, tier three, tier, you know, whatever, etc. cetera. Um, so I'll just kind of show both ways to do this. Uh, so for right now, um, let me actually just show you the problem that in action that we might encounter. So I'll reset it up the way we had it. All right. If I compile and save now, um, basically right now we have three skill points. Right. If I press play and I hit T, you'll see we have three. Okay. So pressing this, pressing that, it equals zero, which is great. But now the problem is, let's say one of those skills subtracts more than what we have. Okay, so let's say this second one here is going to subtract five skill points. Okay, this part here will still register as true, but now it's going to subtract until we have a negative value, which isn't good. So to show that, if I press play, I hit T. So I click this one, it subtracted one. Now if I click this, it's going to subtract five, and we have a negative number, so that's not good. So let's counteract that. So like I said, we can get rid of all these greater thans, and we can change it to a greater than or equal to. All right, so I'm just going to control W, duplicate that a few times. Oops. All right, and now we'll set these values here equal to the amount of points we want to subtract. So I set this to one. This one I set to five. And this one I'd set to three. All right, so now now it should work. All right, if I compile and save and I press play, now if I hit T and I press this one, it's going to be set to two. But now if I press this, it shouldn't let me. Right, so I'm clicking it and it's not letting me. But I can press on this one and do that. Right, but now if I press it again, right, none of these. Well, this one I don't have you know the correct checks done. Um, but as you can see, for those buttons, everything's working, which is great. So, um, so that's kind of one way you can fix it, right? You can put this greater than or equal to rather than just the greater than um, in front of all your buttons, okay? And then hard code that value to be equal to, you know, however many points you want to subtract. The other way you could do this is um, kind of the tiered way that I mentioned, right? So you could promote this to a variable, right? Click and promote to variable, and we can call this tier one um, points. Okay, so this will be how many you know points you need to level up tier one. All right, so then you could take that value and plug it in here, and it's still one, right? But now this time, um, it's in a variable form, so you know you could uh, you can plug that in anywhere you want an ability to be tier one, and also you know promote this one to a variable called this tier two, for example. You know, plug that in. And it'll work the same way, but now everything's in variables, so there's a bit more control over it. Um, 
So yeah, that's kind of two ways that you can fix up the problem there uh, that you might encounter. You may or may not have already encountered it, uh, but if you did, then you know this is the way to kind of fix it up. So um, thank you for watching, and I hope this you know helps clear up any issues that you might have had, and uh, we will see you in the next one.